All right, welcome to the playthrough for Lords of Zidid. So as per usual, click on the link below to see my rules and setup video. Uh, this is going to be the playthrough. Click on the link again uh, below to go to my thoughts at the end of this video. Let's just get started right away. But before we do, please like, subscribe and comment on my videos. That would be fantastic. Let's get started. All right, welcome to the playthrough for Lords of Zidid. So I'm going to be playing a special version of the game, which is a three player with the dummy. Don't let that scare you away. The dummy actually works really well in this game. So for three players, you're going to set up using the crown tiles and not the regular tiles. All right. So let's just set up the board here. So let's shuffle these and we're going to use four of them as our starting recruitment cities. So here we go. 16, 13, four and 12. Now, uh, before I continue, for three players, you block off these three cities and these two sections are blocked off. So what I like to do is just put the dummy board right here and it helps block off this area and just remind people they can't go on this side. All right. Uh, now we're going to use four more as, I start, as our starting uh, threats. So we're going to have 18, we're going to have one, we're going to have nine, and we're going to have 14. Where's 14 go? Here we go. All right. So... We're pretty much ready to go. I'm just going to split these into two stacks. One's going to go here. Uh, actually, uh, actually, that was correct. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we're going to have our threat stack, threat queue, and we're going to have the same thing with the cities. I'm going to put the units on the board in a couple of seconds. Uh, I'll do that when setting up everyone's programming board. Okay, so if you've never played this game, it's a programming game. So you're going to be using your programming dial and you're going to be picking every single round you're going to be picking your six actions and then you're just going to activate them in order right so everyone's going to do their number one their number two three four five and you'll see how that goes okay so um i'm going to be the first player i am playing three. Oh, one one thing i did forget to uh, to set up is the assessment tiles so i'm just going to close my eyes and shuffle these together so let's do this all right, so just for the dummy setup here, because gold is first, that's going to start at seven. Blue is second, so it's going to, oh, sorry, it's going to start at six. Blue is second, it's going to start at five. And red is third, it's going to start at four. All right. Um, so the extremely unique part of this game is the end game scoring concept. So you don't actually score a final tally like VPs or anything like that. What you got to do is rank yourself uh, against all the other players in the three assessments and the last person in assessment one gets eliminated from the game then assessment two gets eliminated from the game and then finally assessment three gets eliminated for the, from the game or whoever's first is gonna win all right it's pretty awesome uh, if you just want to see that tally up go through the end of this video and so on and so on okay so we're gonna start round one all right and you're gonna basically do two phases every single round you have the programming where you're gonna set your programming board and then you're just gonna activate your program which is phase two all right so I'm just gonna program my board uh, but before I do that, I'm first player, so I get to put my uh, standee out on the board first. And I think the most obvious thing to do is because of the way the tiles came out, uh, I might want to go visit as many cities as I can. And they're all sort of placed perfectly in a row for me to go up and then to visit the threats that are up there. Actually, this one only needs a farmer. Anyway, either way, I might make my way up this way and then we'll see what happens later. So I think I'm going to start off here. And this is good because it's going to get me an archer right away. But I'm going to start off my game here. So the other players actually have to put their guys out on the board as well. And I think what they're going to do is we're going to have the blue guy start over here. We're going to have the orange guy start over. Uh, I think he's going to start over here. Okay. All right. So let's go program our board. So I'll show you how this works. Normally, uh, this is your player area. You're going to have a shield. You're going to have your bar tokens behind your shield. Your guild uh, towers uh, don't have to be hidden. That's fine. That's not hidden. But you're going to have your little programming board here. And you're going to program what you're going to do. So I think what I'm going to do is try to get as many guys as possible and then work my way up to sort of defeat those uh, threats up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate on the spot that I'm at. Then I'm going to move black, then activate, move red, then activate. So I'll show you how this is done. So the first spot I want to activate. So you're going to pick the green. Move. All right, then I want to travel against black or on black. So I'm going to do that. Then I want to activate there. 
I'm going to do that. And then I want to move red, which is that. And then I want to activate there. So it's green. And then what do I want to do? So I do want to make my way up. So I think what I'm going to do is move black. So I'm going to end my turn here. And or do I want to end my turn here? Yeah, you know what? I'll end my turn here. And then I'll move my way up and defeat one of those in the following turn. So I think I'm going to do black as well. Okay, just some rules that I should mention before I go any further. Uh, that's very important. I can never visit the same city twice in the same round. So I can't like stay here and just go recruit, 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 recruit and take up all the units that are there, right? So I must travel and visit multiple cities. But what I could have done is I could have maybe waited as my last action here. And then the following turn, as my first action, I do a uh, recruitment, right? So I'm in a better spot, but I think I want to move upwards, right? Instead of staying, staying where I am. Um, all right, there you go. So I'm pretty much set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the units on the board. I'm going to program the other two players. Uh, and then I'll be back. All right, so I put the units on the board so it's be clear. And I just realized that I'll knock the standees on their side so you can actually see them from above. If not, it would be impossible to follow. <laughs> all right, so I set up everyone's board. So what everyone's going to do is at the start, we're all going to look at a number one. All right, so uh, we'll go in turn order. So maybe I'll put these here so you can sort of follow along. So I'm first player, blue second player, and yellow is third player. So I'm going to start with activating. So we're all going to do our number ones. So we're basically we're all activating, right? It's pretty simple. We all started in recruitment cities. So I'm going to take this and put it behind my shield. All right. All the units that you gather are secret, secret, and they're put behind your shield. Uh, yellow is going to grab uh, the farmer. And you always take the lowest uh, or the worst uh, unit available in a city. And you work your way up, all right? And blue's gonna grab the farmer as well. All right, so now we're gonna do a number two. So I'm gonna travel on the black. I'm gonna go here. So only at the start of the game, you can't have the um, standees in the same city, but after that, it's fine. They can go through each other, activate in the same city, it doesn't really matter. All right, I, sorry. Uh, blue's gonna follow the blue path. You're gonna be here. And then yellow is going to follow the blue path as well. Yellow is going to go here. All right. Now we're going to do our third one. So I go first all the time. So I'm going to recruit. So I'm going to grab the second guy. I get another archer. All right. Then blue is going to go. Blue is going to go on the black path. And then yellow is going to go. And he's going to activate. When you activate when there's a threat, you defeat the threat. So I'll show you how this is done. It's going to be the first one of the game. So this one needs a farmer to defeat. Well, guess what? He picked up a farmer when he's there. So he's going to turn this into the supply and he's going to defeat this threat. When you defeat a threat, you're going to gain two of the rewards above the uh, the threat, right? So this is guard towers, this is money, and this is putting out influence on the board. So I think what he's going to do is logical. He's going to put out two guard towers or sorry, sorcerer guild towers, whatever they're called. This is going to go here. And then I think he's going to get two coins instead of getting one uh, influence because he's going to notice that he doesn't want to finish last in coins for sure. He's going to pick up the value two coin. And we'll give that, we'll give that uh, yellow. All right. Now this goes into the discard right there. And then we're going to replace it. So five is going to come out on the board. All right. You're going to slide everything down. Oh, that one's a strong one. Let me just move some things around here. All right, and there you go. Uh, so everyone did their third action. Now we're gonna do our fourth action. So I'm gonna move on the uh, the red. So I'm gonna go here. Uh, blue's gonna go on the activate. So he's gonna take the farmer. And yellow's gonna go on the red. Boom, next. I'm going to activate, so I'm going to take another archer, so I'm full of archers. Um, blue's going to go on the red, so go over here, and yellow's going to go on the blue, so we go over here. And then we finally get to do our last action, so I'm going to go on the black, so it's here. Oops. Um, blue's going to activate, so he's going to take a warrior. And finally, yellow is going to activate as well. So he's going to take a archer. 
And there you go, we all activated that was phase one and two. Pretty simple, right? Perfect. So now we're each gonna get our boards back, obviously. We're gonna go to round two. I'm gonna pass the first player marker to blue. They're gonna be first. And oh, one thing I did forget to show you, the, I, I was showing you at a high level the way you move down, but you know what, if you really want to track it, you got these tokens that you can go, I did this action, I'm doing this action, and so on and so on. But you know, it's pretty simple. How we're gonna do it all right so let's go to the next round all right i did forget one rule before we start round two uh whenever somebody defeats a threat they get to move up one of the markers here on the uh dummy player's board sorry about that that's very important or else he's never gonna gain stats and it's gonna be easy to beat all his stats so yellow did that i think because yellow is gonna try to focus on the towers uh i think he's gonna raise the towers boom all right and here we go so we'll start round two Phase one is do the boards, which I already just did. So let me just lay it out here. So blue's first player, then it's gonna be yellow. I don't know how else to show this to you guys, but the maybe I'll put it here. Probably a better area. All right, so blue's first, so activate. So blue's on the activate and Purple is the rarest and best unit in the game. So whenever you have a chance to get a purple, you better take it. And they got lucky, they'll get a purple early on in the game. So let's put that on the blues board. And we finished number 13, so we're gonna put it back. We're gonna take number 11, which is the next one, place it here. Next one's gonna come. So let's just fill it up. I'll show you how that's done. So we just put units where the markers are displayed. Black and a white. So if we were paying attention, which you'll see how we did it, you'll see that maybe one of us is gonna know that this would have appeared because it was there. So we'll pick up a unit on the way to where we're going. You gotta also so, sort of pay attention, bide your time, and you'll see that looking at the cues will help you in the game because you'll know that those cities will appear probably early on in the run. Okay, yellow is gonna activate as well. So you're gonna take this. And then I'm gonna move on blue. So I'll go here. All right, go to our number twos. The so blue's gonna go on red. It's gonna go here. Yellow's gonna go on blue. It's gonna go here. And I'm gonna activate. So I'm gonna take the white one. So the 16 goes away, and replace it with 15, which is this one. And you'll see that yellow knew that was gonna happen, obviously. So they're gonna activate, and they're already in the city that was just got on the board see maybe i should have maybe waited and screwed somebody over but i'll play it straight and not mess around so let's put these on the board uh that was my no number two so now we'll do number threes blue's gonna activate take the warrior uh yellow's gonna activate take the farmer then i'm gonna move on black then blue's gonna go on the black line, he's gonna go here. Yellow's gonna go on the black line, he's gonna go here. I'm gonna go on the red line, I'm gonna go here. Then blue's gonna activate, take the archer. So blue's got a ton of guys, he's gonna have to start going to threats. Yellow's gonna activate, he's gonna take the yellow one. This one's gonna be gone, we'll replace it. Oops, forgot to slide this over. <coughs> Excuse me. This is going to appear. I'll fill it up later because nobody's going to reach there this round. That was uh, Yellow's turn. So then I'm going to activate and take a farmer. And then finally, he's going to go on the blue. Yellow's going to go on the blue. And I'm going to go on the black. So I'm going to go up there to deal with those threats up there. And we'll see how that works out in the third round. So nobody dealt with any threats this round. So we didn't have to move the uh, dummy player's marker, but that was round two. So the game works really fast once you decide what you want to do because it's programming. It's gonna self, <laughs> it's gonna self uh, do its actions because it's programmed. All right, so there you go. I'll come back for the start of round three. All right, here we go for round three. I just have a better setup now. I'll put the dummy up there and I put our. Uh, programming boards over here uh, also just a note i don't know why i had the titans flipped over they should not be flipped over until the uh raising of the titans sort of situation happens which i'll show you when it does all right so let's go in order so 
first, second, and third player because yellow is first now. So he's going to activate. So he's going to do this. And this requires a farmer and a white unit. He's going to do that. So he's the first one to actually take care of two threats this game. So he's going to look at this. And what does he want to do? I think he's going to keep trying to build his towers. So he's going to put two towers out in here. And choosing between the two. Um... I think he's gonna because he's already ahead in coins I think he's gonna ah you know what? he's gonna take four more coins why not and then starting from now maybe he'll uh, forego getting more coins so I'll take an extra four and this is gonna go to the discard we're gonna replace it with number three and we'll slide down the next one all right so that was yellow then I'm gonna travel the red path I'm gonna go here uh, blue's gonna travel the blue path it's gonna go here then yellow is gonna go black here I'm gonna activate all right oh I forgot that yellow is gonna raise something so he's working on towers so I think he's gonna raise the towers again sorry about that I'm gonna try not to forget next time so I'm gonna activate which means finally I get to take care of a threat so I'm gonna look at this so I need to turn in a green and a white unit so let's look at my board here so I do have a white and I have a green I got plenty of green it's gonna to toss these into the general supply all right so what should I get as a reward um, I think I'm gonna get red and coins, right? Because those are plentiful on this, and I don't think it's worth it for just a one tower. So I'm gonna take four coins. So I'll take a couple of twos. These stay behind your screen. Then I get to add four, um, sort of, it's called bard tokens, but it's almost like influence. You're influencing the board. And because it was there, I can only add it to either this section or this section. Um, because that tile does not have that much influence here and this one's more centrally located i think i'm gonna add four in this area here because four is quite a bit so you're gonna take four of your tokens and place them in this region right here at the end of the game if i have the most here it's gonna score me three barred points overall all right now this gets discarded i'm gonna replace so this one's the seven slide it down all right so that was my action so now blue's gonna activate, so they're gonna grab the gray guy. All right, so yellow's gonna go blue. I'm gonna go blue as well. Uh, sorry, blue. And then blue's gonna go blue. <laughs> so he's gonna go back up. There you go. Now yellow's gonna activate, so he's gonna take a token. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move red. So I'm gonna go here. And blue's gonna go black. Now we step back and then yellow is going to do nothing for his last two actions because he's going to want to recruit here for the following turn so red that's me i'm gonna again i forgot to raise the th uh the dummy player when i defeated the thread oh, i'm gonna keep forgetting and i think the one i want to raise is maybe the the money all right i'm gonna try to get a lot of coins and maybe somebody will get eliminated because they don't have enough coins so i'll raise the coins all right sorry about that and now I get to activate as my number five here. So I'm going to defeat this threat here. It is just an archer that I need to show. So I'll get rid of an archer, which is the green one. I'll defeat this threat. Boy, there's nothing great on this tile, <laughs> to be honest. Ah, it only needed a green one anyway. So I think I'm going to keep going on with my money. Although I could put more. Now I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna do a tower and the money. All right, that's what I'll do. So I'll build the tower here, and I'll get two coins from the bank. So I'm a, sh I think I'm ahead in coins for sure. Obviously I am, because I can see everyone's board. But if everything was kept secret, I think I would still be ahead. So I think I'm good for the first assessment. This goes to the discard. I'm gonna put number six out on the board, and it goes here. Ooh, two archers. I need one more archer though. Um. All right, that was my action number five. We're going to go blue. Goes on blue. Then we already know yellow does nothing. I'm going to go on black. So I'm going to go here. And then blue's going to activate over here. Um, so again, I did forget to raise again when I was there. So I'll raise it again. Sorry about that. So blue's going to take this one. He needs to turn in a uh, warrior, which is the gray one. He's going to do that. And let him raise this thing. I think what he wants to do is raise the, uh, the 
the red. Why not? There you go. So I think he's going to put out two towers. It actually goes right there. And I think he's going to get two coins. So he's behind on coins for sure. So he's got to find some way to get more coins. So he's going to go to this card. This is going to be put on the board. 17. Oops. Oh, look at that. He can already be down. And that was it. So we did all our turns. Perfect. We're going to move down the turn tracker here. Um, I'm going to be first player for the next round. And I'll program everyone's board and I'll be back. All right, here we go. Round four. I'm first player. So I start off by activating. So where am I? I'm right here. Take the farmer. Put it behind my board. Blue's going to go on blue. So where's the blue token? There we go. Right here. And yellow's going to activate. So he's going to take the warrior. All right, now it goes. I'm going to travel blue. Uh, blue's going to activate. So he's going to take care of this guy. So he's going to get rid of a orange and a green. Get rid of one of those each. All right, so he's gonna raise one of the markers. Uh, he doesn't want to raise money for sure because he's lost the money. Um, I think he's gonna raise the towers because he's gonna put three more. So he's gonna raise the towers and he's gonna put three more towers. One, two, three. And he's gonna take money, so three coins. There you go. There you go. He's doing pretty well. Put that there. So now there's no more in this section here. So we're actually going to flip these over. And that'll become the new queue. We got to add this in now. 13. 13, 13, 13. Going to go here. Slide this down. Um, so that was blue's action. That was this one. Then yellow is going to go blue. Yellow is here, blue is here. Then I'm going to go red. I'm going to visit him here. Uh, blue is going to go black. It's going to go here. Yellow is going to go red. Yellow is going to go up here. Uh, and then I'm going to go blue. So I'm going to go visit this city. Blue is going to go blue. It's going to come down here. Yellow is going to activate. So he's going to take care of this. So he needs to get rid of a warrior and a farmer. Do that right there. All right. So which one does he want to raise? Um, I think he's gonna raise the last one. All right. And I think what he's gonna do is he was here. Uh, I think he's gonna take the coins and the influence. So he's gonna take three coins. And he's going to put three bar tokens out. It's going to be his first three. So he's going to sort of decide where he wants to put them. And I think what he's going to do is instead of fighting me here, he's going to put them up here because they're both worth three if you win. So he's going to put it up here for that. So this is going to go discard. We're going to replace with 16. 16 is right there. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> blue doesn't even have another farmer to get that. So that was yellow's activation of four. Then I'm going to activate. So I'm going to take the priest. So we're gonna get, get rid of this. So it's gonna go up here. We're gonna replace the number eight. Number eight, it's gonna have two farmers. A white, oh, and a purple. There you go. Gotta watch out for those purple guys. I'll fix those guys in a little bit. Uh, but that was my activation. Then blue's gonna activate, so they're gonna take the white guy here. And this one's finished. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put out number 10. Green. And another purple comes out. Look at that. Fix that in a little bit. Uh, then yellow is gonna go blue. It's gonna go right here. Then I'm gonna go blue. So I'm gonna go back here. Uh, blue is gonna go black. They're so gonna come here. And finally, yellow is gonna recruit. I'm gonna pick up one of these. There you go. That was round four. Pretty good. Uh, so what's going to happen now is we're going to do a military census. Okay. So between rounds four and five and between eight and nine, there's a military census. And I'll show you how that works. So everyone's going to secretly put 
Uh, we're going to start with farmers. The farmers in their hand, they're going to reveal whoever at the most is going to gain a benefit, so on, so on, and so on. Uh, just to make this playthrough run faster, I'm just going to calculate everyone's total. <laughs> All right, it just makes it more sense instead of me deciding how many do I really want to hold in my hand because it's sort of secret like I don't have to put all my farmers in my hand if I don't want to I could have put one instead of two but you know what just to make this thing go run a little faster I'll go fa uh, I'll do it so uh, farmers I have the most with two so I'm gonna gain the benefit which is just a coin so I'm gonna gain a coin from the bank uh, we're gonna go to archers next so who has the most archers I'm actually tied with yellow so we're gonna get two coins each all right, so if you're tied, you both get it. The yellow's gonna get two, I'm gonna get two. So blue's really behind in money right now. So he's gonna be in a little bit of a danger spot. Uh, next, we're gonna look at the black ones. So blue's actually gonna win that and they're gonna get to put out a uh, bard token. So their token is out here. Um, I mean, I think they're gonna take a chance and just go to the middle section here and maybe if they can win this, who knows. Uh, next is gonna be the white one so I'm tied with uh, actually we're all tied so we all have two so um, blue's gonna put out two um, I think this time though they're gonna put two in this region here and I get to put out two and you can split them up and I think what I'm gonna do is put out two in this region here I oh, no, you know what I'm gonna fight for the middle no, you know what? I'll put him in this region here. Um, and then yellow gets put out too. So where's yellow's token? It's down here. Uh, I think what they're going to do, they only have two choices here or here. So I think he'll put one here. And he's going to put one here. Just to make sure that he has a, a hold on that spot there. With four, you're pretty much guaranteed to gain it. And then finally with the purple, so there's only one person with purple, that's blue. You actually get to add a tower to anywhere that you have... Uh, Tower is already built on the, on the map. I think he's just going to add it here. So now this is at its maximum height. So he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. And there you go. That was the military census. So we're going to go to round five. Pass this to the blue player. I'll set up their boards and I'll be right back. All right, here we go for round five. So blue's red. Obviously comes here. Yellow's going to activate. He's going to take an archer. And I'm going to move the red. All right. Obviously, I knew he was going to activate there, so I'm sort of moving in to get that wizard. Uh, blue's going to activate. All right, so he's going to turn in a white and a warrior. All right, to take care of this. And I think he's going to keep raising up the uh, the gu uh, wizard towers here uh, to make it harder for me because I'm really behind on that. i got to figure out a way to catch up. So I think what he's going to do is gain the last two here because he's pretty comfortable on his... Uh, guild tower so he's gonna take five coins which is a gigantic boost so he'll take that and he'll put out four tokens i think he'll put them out in this region right over here boom this is discarded i gotta put a new one this is number 12 it's gonna go right over 11 12 and actually maybe he should have actually he has no archer so he can do that all right, so that was blue. So yellow is going to go red here. I'm going to go blue here. Then he's going to go black here. Then yellow is going to activate and activate right over here. So he's going to get rid of. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. He wanted to come here to get the warrior and then come here. Whoops. Oh, well, I made a mistake. So you see, that's what can happen. <laughs> all right, if you didn't pay attention. Uh, all right, well. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna activate. I'm gonna take the wizard. All right. So this is gonna go into the discard. We're gonna flip and get another one. So this is gonna flip over. Slide down. Put out 14. 14 is over here in the corner. So it gets a green, an orange, a white, and a wizard. I'll fix that in a little bit. So that was my action. And then we're gonna do blue activate. He's gonna grab this. Uh, it's gonna go down blue. I'm gonna visit him here. I'm gonna do blue. I'm gonna come here. Then blue is going to uh, do blue, which is here. 
<laughs> he wishes that. Does he have enough for this? No, he's missing the white for this one. Oh well. Uh, so that was blue. Uh, yellow is going to activate. This is the warrior that he needed. So he needs to sort of backtrack at this point. Uh, then I'm going to do black. I'm going to go up here. And then blue is going to go red. Yellow is going to go black, which is actually going in the opposite direction. So, you know, let me just pretend that he did blue here, just so I don't make him completely waste his turn. So he's going to go here. And then I'm going to activate. So I'm just going to grab a farmer. There you go. So let's look at my board. What do I got so far? I got a bunch of units, a bunch of farmers. Uh, maybe I should uh, go run to this one or something. But it's only one tower. I need to find a place for towers. This is a good one for me, but I need another archer. So maybe I'll figure something out. All right, that was the end of the fifth round. We're gonna move this down. Give this to the yellow player. And I'll be back after I do the management thing here. All right, round six. I'm gonna do something freaky because I sort of knew blue was gonna come my way and I really need an archer and there's no other way to get an archer, so I'm gonna do something funky. All right, so let's go in order. So we already knew that yellow wanted to defeat this because he wasted time last turn. He's gonna defeat this. It's gonna give him a ton of coins, uh, but he needs to give him a green, a white, and a black. All right, let's give up that. All right, so what does he want to get? Um, I think what he's going to do is, hmm, he wants to get a bit of everything. He doesn't have a lot of bar tokens on the board just yet, but he doesn't want to get screwed over on the towers because towers are sort of first come first serve. So I think what he's going to do is get money and now he'll be fine for money for a while. So he's going to take six coins. And he's gonna take, uh, he's gonna put out two, uh, oops, sorry, give that to the wrong player. Give that to him, and he's gonna put out two towers. Where are we? There you go. And the one that he wants to do is money, of course, because he's got a ton of cash. It's gonna come here, we're gonna replace it. So 11, ooh, look at that. Oh wow, that is insane, look at that. Four towers, boom, on one shot. That would be great for me because I'm suffering on towers. Um, so that was his first move. I'm going to do nothing for my first three moves. Uh, blue's going to go black. Then he's going to go blue. Then I can do nothing. Then he's going to go red. Then he activates. He's going to take this. So I'll get rid of this. Put out a number five. So I'll take a green and orange. And another wizard, look at, that. Oh, look at that. I'll fix that in a little bit. So that was this one, then I'm going to do nothing. Then blue's going to activate, it's going to take a farmer. And then he's going to go black. Then I will finally grab, so I'm going to take a priest. And then he's going to go blue. And then uh, yellow is going to go blue. I'm going to go blue. Uh, blue is going to go red. So I'm following him because I knew he was going to sort of go this way to get the archer, but I sort of delayed my whole turn so I can get the archer. Right? Because I'll be first play next turn. So if I grab first there, I'll get the archer. Uh, and then yellow is going to grab. I'm going to get a farmer. Uh, then I'm going to go red. And blue's gonna activate to take the farmer. Again, I'm playing it sort of straight. So if you're playing this in a real situation with five players, especially, and everyone's one person delays or goes in a route you don't think about, this it's hard to calculate what everyone's gonna do, right? And there you go, we're pretty much done. Um, let's turn the round tracker down. Nobody defeated a, well, actually, uh, yellow did, but I took care of that already. Um, might, we might get a titan soon because once that whole section is empty the titans get flipped over and that's good I'll show you how that works and there you go that's the end of the round we're in round seven i'm gonna formulate their boards and i'll be right back all right round seven let's do it i'm gonna be first player oops i forgot to move this along so i'm gonna activate right away to get my archer because i really needed him so blue's gonna activate as well he's gonna get a warrior all right and yellow's gonna activate he's gonna get his archer 
All right, so I'm gonna go black here. Uh, blue's gonna go red. So, oops, sorry, wrong guy. <laughs> blue's gonna go red. And blue's gonna try to get that wizard, obviously. Um, I took a decision not to focus on this one and do this one instead, because I really have to take out guild towers and I don't wanna waste my wizard right away. Uh, so that's that. Uh, red and yellow is going to do red as well then I do blue and he's going to do blue and he's going to go black and then I'm going to activate so for this one I got to give up my two archers that I just got boom boom I got to raise something I think I'm going to start making it difficult for everyone else on the money so I'm going to keep raising money so I think I'm going to put out three of my towers one, two, three, so I can sort of catch up on towers. And this one's gonna go right over here. And uh, either one influence or four money. I guess I'll take the money. So I'm gonna actually take a five and put back a one. There you go. And then this gets discarded. We'll replace it with 15. 15 is over here. So all of these need sort of purples. So maybe I'll run this way later. Uh, that was my turn activation. So blue's gonna activate. So he's gonna got the last wizard here. He's got two wizards, which is great. It's gonna get discarded up here. I'm gonna place it with number nine. So he knew he was gonna do that. So his actual next move is to move and then activate because he knew that was gonna show up. All right, so that's gonna take a green, an orange. We can grab it and a couple of clerics fix that later uh, that was blues activation and then we're gonna do um, blue for yellow it's gonna go here then five I'm gonna do red here blue's gonna do yellow uh, blue's gonna do blue yellow is gonna activate it's gonna take the farmer and his last move is to actually wait because he's gonna get the archer next turn so I'm gonna do uh, blue I don't know why I did that. Uh, yeah, oh, it's because I thought that this was gonna show up on the board, that's why. So you see how things go? I sort of screwed myself, <laughs> just like that. And then, uh, Blue's gonna get one guy, so he's gonna grab the, the farmer. There you go, there's the round. Move this down, uh, pass the first player marker over to blue, and I will set it up and I'll be back. All right, round eight. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, just to make this run a little faster, because I already know some of the people won't interact with others, I'm gonna do all of yellow first. Uh, so he's gonna grab, just to make it go faster. Go on blue, black, red, activate, and do nothing because he wants to get the wizard for the next round there you go that was uh i'm gonna do all of blue so he's gonna grab red grab red grab he's getting another wizard so he's full of wizard he's ready to destroy he's gonna go on number one he's gonna get a um uh, there you go uh, that was uh, activate red, green. Uh, sorry, uh, he did this in the wrong order. It was supposed to be actually. Wait, did I mess that up? I did. Wait, so it's supposed to be black. Sorry about that. Red and black. Black, red, black. There you go. All right. Sorry about that. And then I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna go blue, black, blue, gather, then red, black, red, black, so I'm here. There right, you go, there's the round. So this doesn't matter anymore. So nobody fought a threat that turn. So we're gonna go into the military uh, census. Uh, so yellow has the most farmers, so I'll give him a coin. 
Uh, sorry, blue had the most farmers. Uh, yellow has the most archers, so I'll give him two coins. Uh, warriors would be... Blue has the most warriors, so he gets to put out one of these tokens. And I think he's going to add it to the bank, because he, he knows he already has a token in there. And clerics would be me, because I have three. So I get to add two tokens out there. And where am I? I'm here. Uh, sure, let me gain this top section up here. And then who has the most wizards? Obviously, it's blue. They have three wizards out. Uh, so I guess he'll put another tower up here. So he's looking pretty good on towers. And there you go. That was the census. We're going to go here. Yellow is going to be first player. And I'll be back for the start of the ninth round. All right, round nine, we're almost done. So only four rounds left, so let's do it. So yellow's gonna activate, take a wizard. This is gonna go away. Uh, we're going to get 18 on the board. Uh, I don't think anyone's going there this round anyway, but let me fill it up. Boom. So, uh, then I'm going to activate, so I'm going to actually beat this big chunky place over here. So it's going to cost me one farmer, one cleric, and one wizard. I only have one wizard, so that hurts. There you go. So what am I going to raise? The money, of course, <laughs> because I'm going to take a ton of coins. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to take six coins, and I'm going to put out four towers. Uh, one, two, three, four. And this is gonna go all right over here. All right, there you go. So put this here. Um, yeah. Then blue's gonna activate as well. So we can get rid of only two farmers. They're gonna start taking cash, no matter <laughs> no matter what it says. So uh, let them raise the last one here. They're gonna take four, three cash. And I think they're gonna put out three influence tokens. And at this spot, you have absolutely no choice. It must go in the tower, in the bastion, I mean. And there you go. We're gonna refill this one here. Flip these over. Put this one here. Um, Oops, this should be lying down. That was uh, Blue's action, so now this one's gonna go get a, a red. I'm gonna go blue. He's gonna go blue. Oh, see, now they're gonna fight. So Blue's gonna activate, and yell, uh, sorry, Yellow's gonna activate, Blue also wanted to activate there, but Yellow is gonna do activate, black activate so he's gonna have a choice between the two anyway because he knew yellow would do one of the two so yellow is gonna do this one so it's a farmer and a wizard he's gonna raise one of those and he's gonna take a ton of coins as well so he's gonna raise the coins so he's gonna take five and he's gonna put out four towers one, two, three, four, and that was on space 15, right over here. That was a pretty good return for just two units. It's gonna go there. And he defeated one, so four is gonna put, be placed on the board over here. So that was this one, so now we're gonna do me is black here. Then. Blue's gonna activate, nothing happens. Then yellow's gonna go black. I'm gonna activate, I'm gonna take the warrior. And then blue's gonna go here. And then yellow's gonna go here. And I'm gonna go black, so I'm gonna go back up. And blue's gonna activate, so here. can get rid of two archers and a wizard so he needs coins no matter what so 
He's gonna look at this. What is he gonna raise? I think he's gonna make it tough for us on the blue track. So he's gonna take uh, the six coins. That'll be helpful. And he's gonna do, let's see, how many towers does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna take. See, he has seven he can actually compare it to everyone else so yellow has one two he has eight blue has seven and i have eight so right now we're all losing to the the ai so i think he's gonna put out three towers so that he's at 10 and he's ahead of everyone well all of us anyway boom just like that um Yeah, so let's put this away. Let's put number eight out. We'll go right over here. Um, whew, that was blue, right? So now we're gonna do activate for yellow, which is great. We got a wizard. Uh, I'll put seventeen out. Two farmers, an archer, and a warrior. Fix that in a little bit. Uh, that was uh, this one. So I'm going to go blue. Not sure why I did that. Should have gone red. Sorry. I wanted to go here. Made a mistake. Do you see what can happen if you're not paying attention? And this one is going to go blue. Yeah. He wanted to get the wizard, but I guess he'll come down and try to do this one. Alright, there you go. That was the round. Sorry about Made a few mistakes along the way. So we're going to move this here. I'm going to be first player, let's take everyone's board, I'll set this up and I'll be right back. Alright, round 10, sorry I did forget to flip over another monster when I attacked that spot there, so that one appeared, I reviewed the video for evidence, <laughs> alright, so that's why it's going to affect my move now, so I'm going to do black, blue's going to do red, uh, yellow's going to do black, and then I'm going to attack that spot. So. Uh, I don't have many guys left, but I just have enough. So I'm going to turn in one each of those. So what do I want to raise? Money, of course. Because I'm going to take another five coins. I'm rolling in the dough. And what else am I going to do? I'm going to build the three towers. So now I think I'm good for towers and money for sure. So now my next few, I'm gonna for sure try to put influence out there and see if I can win. So this is gonna go in the discard. I'm gonna replace it with 14. Goes right over here. And uh, this flips over. All right, that was my action. Then blue is gonna activate, so it's gonna attack this. So this is gonna need a warrior and a wizard. So now he gets to pick. I think for sure, you know what, he's gonna grab the, the top two for sure. I think that'll just make sense. So he's pretty much put all his towers out, so he's almost guaranteed to not be last in that respect. So he's gonna fill up the four towers here, and he's gonna take uh, one, two, five coins. He had to also raise something, and because he's doing awesome in towers, he'll raise the towers. I'll put that there, and number five goes on the board. Now, if the next person beats a place before we put a uh, a uh, recruitment city out, all these titans are gonna flip over because there's nothing there, right? So this is gonna go on five, right over here. Uh, which is actually a perfect place for me to go, but I'm all the way down there. All right, so that was blue's move. So yellow is gonna go red. Then I'm gonna go blue, uh, sorry, red. It looks like I'm gonna end up flipping that over. Uh, blue's gonna go black. It's gonna come here. Yellow's gonna go blue. Oh, then I'm gonna recruit. So I'll get the last the priest here. So this goes away in here and it's gonna flip over here. Just gonna go here. Uh, that was four, so blue's gonna go blue. 
And yellow is going to go attack here. He's going to give up his two farmers. He's going to attack this. And uh, oof, how many towers do you have out there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He needs to reach 11. So he's going to put out a tower for sure. And for those two, he's good with money. So he's going to take the two influence chits. He can add it here or here. I think he's going to add it here so he can beat me on this section here. Oh, he had to raise on one of the tracks. He's got like $25, so I think he's going to raise money again. <laughs> there you go. So now it's going to be a little hairy for maybe just a blue player for cash. So that was yellow. Uh, he did defeat that, so nine's going to come on the board. Right where I am. There you go. Um... Then I will do black from here. Blue's gonna activate, fight him for a peon. And this one's gonna allow him to get $2 and one, <laughs> wow. Both of these are kind of useless for him. Um, yeah. So he's gonna gain two bucks. He's gonna put one token. Uh, here. Uh, he'll raise one of those. I think what he's going to do is one, two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So he's going to raise this one here. There you go. So now we can't replace. There's one, two, three out there. We can't replace. So we're going to wake up the Titans. So each of them are going to flip over. Just like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna add this on top. We're gonna keep just the first two. The rest we're gonna turn over. We're gonna put it here. We're gonna slide the first one down. Just like that. That was blue's turn. Now yellow is gonna go black. We'll go up here. I'm gonna activate. I'm gonna take a farmer. Uh it's gonna go black, uh, red, and he's gonna activate. Let's get the other farmer. All right, there you go. Now we got Titans to take care of, so that should be an interesting last few rounds because uh, they can give us a ton of bonuses. All right, let me deal with this. Uh, wait, it's gonna be round eleven. Blue's gonna be first player, and I'll be back. All right, second last round. Let's get to it. So, uh, Blue's gonna do blue. Uh, Yellow's gonna activate. I'm gonna activate. Oh, so with that. Uh, blue's gonna do black. Yellow's gonna do red. I'm gonna do blue. Uh, blue's gonna activate. Uh, yellow's gonna activate. All right, so he needs to turn in a green and a black. I'll do that. All right, so now which one does he want to raise? So what is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? He's here. He's got he's got eleven towers. Um, I think he's losing in influence for sure. But there's no way for him to really catch up. I think he's gonna put two influence in this region here. And 20, he's got 25 gold. Yeah, he's fine for gold, he doesn't need gold. So he's gonna put three towers. He doesn't have to worry about towers anymore. In this little section right over here. There you go. Go here, we'll replace it with 14 right over here. All right, so that was yellow's second one here. So I'm gonna activate. I'm gonna take a farmer. And then blue's gonna do blue. Oops. And then yellow's gonna do blue. Oh, he had to raise one. Uh, sorry about that. I think he's gonna raise the, that one. Uh, no, he had a ton of cash, right? He, he wants to keep doing money. He's got like 25 bucks. Uh, so I moved, sorry, losing track. So blue moved blue, yes. 
and then yellow move blue, yes, and then I move black, yes, and then blue's gonna activate, it's gonna take a warrior, yellow's gonna activate, <coughs> excuse me, so he's gonna give up one of these, he's gonna take this one, and now he's gonna put four influence, which is great, because now he'll beat me on this one, three, four, and he'll do, uh, he'll do more, more coins, he'll take four coins, and he'll raise the coins again. All right, that was uh, yellow, then I'm gonna activate. So what am I gonna do? I will show you something interesting. So I'm gonna activate one of these guys. And because I'm here, I need, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I need at least 12. So I'm gonna activate, I think this one here, um, so that I can put two towers out. I need at least two. Okay, so I'm gonna give up four units. So looking at my board, I think I'm gonna give up for sure these three. And um, this is gonna hurt, but yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna actually if I act if I lose this. It hurts, but I'll still be able to use these two on this spot here. So I'll give up these four. Ouch. I'll defeat this Titan, which allows me to put two towers out. Right over here. And I could uh, put two influence out. And what I'm gonna do is put in the tower. Well, it's the only place I could put it. I'll do that. So I'm almost guaranteed to gain the six points there, I think. <laughs> so this is gonna come out too. And we'll slide it down. So one, two, three. Oh, I forgot to replace it when he did his. So the four one comes out as well. There should always be four of each. One, two, three. I'm missing one, two, three, four. I'm missing one of these ones. Whoops. Sorry about that. Hopefully that didn't screw anything up. Either way, we're coming close to the end of the game. Probably didn't make that much of a difference. Um, so that was my activation. So we're gonna do black for blue. It's gonna come here. Uh, yellow is gonna do black as well. It's gonna come here. Oops. And I'm gonna do blue, which is over here. All right, because I think I'm gonna come here to do three influence. I'm gonna dump three, maybe I'll do, yeah, I'll dump three more in there probably uh, and get four gold. All right, there you go, we're done. Boom, last round. So I'm gonna do this. Uh, Yellow is gonna be first player, last round of the game. I'll set us up and we're ready to go. All right, let's round, last round, sorry, let's do it. So yellow is gonna activate, so they're gonna take this guy gonna go away 13 is gonna come on the board uh, I'll fill it up later actually I don't need to because nobody's gonna end up going there so it's fine uh, then I'm gonna move black uh, gonna move blue yellow is gonna move blue I'm gonna move blue it's gonna move red He's gonna activate, so he's gonna take a green. Um, I'm gonna activate, so I'm gonna use my last two guys <laughs> to defeat this. Um, so I got no choice, I have to take the money because I can't build a tower. And I'm gonna do influence, so three influence. So, because I think I'm already winning the middle here, I'm actually gonna put three in this section here so I can take the two points away from yellow. Let's see if that bites me in the butt, but we'll see. So 
that was this one so blue's gonna activate it takes the warrior um, so red uh, I'm gonna go black blue's gonna go black oh I did forget to replace that unit but it won't make a difference sorry um, blue and black the yellow is gonna activate so they're gonna activate here okay so they have six tokens left uh, they're just looking at what they want to do um, I think what they're gonna do is spend five tokens why not um, they don't mind losing their wizard because they don't need to put another tower out and I think they're just gonna keep their uh, warriors so that they can get an extra extra influence out when we're at the calculate so he's gonna spend five he's gonna beat this Titan here and I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna take the three coins But more importantly, he gets to put out three influence out on the board. And he's probably not going to win the middle. So I think he's going to steal maybe this section from me here. And actually, you know what? Because he's going to add another influence to the middle later. He'll take a chance. So we'll go one, two. It's his only way to catch up, really. So we'll go in the bastion. There's a ton of tokens in there. I'm gonna put 12 on the board, but it won't make a difference. Um, so that was this one. Red, I'm gonna move on red. He's gonna activate, so he's gonna use his two guys to beat this one. So he's gonna get three coins. Oh, we were all supposed to, ra let's just raise the red one a few times. One, two, three. Sorry, I forgot to raise the red one for all three of us. So I give him the coins and he's going to put out the two influence, but no matter what he does with the influence, it won't make a difference. He'll finish in last in both sections. So actually, he'll put it here. Actually, no, on the top, he'll score some points at least. He'll score one. He'll do that. Uh, doesn't really matter at this point. Gets replaced. One, two, three, four. Oh no, that one, I must have replaced it already. Uh, Alright, back to the end. So yellow is going to activate again. There's no point, he wouldn't have gotten anywhere anyway. I'm going to activate, I'll take a guy. And blue's going to activate, the reason he activated there was now he can use his three. Oh, but is there a point? Um... He was going to beat this Titan, but it's for one influence and he can't really do anything with one influence. And he doesn't care about the money, so you know what, he'll keep this stuff instead. Alright, so there you go, we are done! Done, done, done. So let's do the last military census. Nobody's got farmers. I have an archer, so I make two bucks. There you go. Um, actually, blue has the warrior, so he gets to put out an influence. But again, it doesn't make a difference. So we'll go there. Even if he's here, he's still third. So out of luck. Um, nobody has priests and wizards. So blue has a wizard. So he'll put his tower here. Doesn't really matter. So we're done, done, done. Okay. So let's go to end game scoring. All right. So let's figure out how the end game scoring works. So what we do first is we're going to check the money. All right, I already calculated for everyone. So both yellow and I have $31. So we're going to be first place here. So the tiebreakers amount of units, we both have one unit. So it doesn't really matter because we'll see what happens. Then blue has $30. And then the AI finished in last. So they're here. All right. Next, we're going to calculate our towers. So blue, uh, sorry, the AI is 12. You're actually supposed to use the numbers on the side of the board over here. So I'll just show you. Uh, the AI is 12. Uh, blue has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, blue's going to finish in first because he's got all of his out. 15. Yellow has 14. 
I have 13, so I'm gonna lose for sure. And then AI is left. So I'm gonna end up losing by one tower there. And then we're gonna look at the influence last. Okay, so influence, we're gonna flip this over. Let's look at what's in here. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Oh, so actually, so the way it works is you score every region. So let's score blue first. So blue is going to get three, four, five, six, plus six, 12, 13, 13. And I'm going to score uh, four, eight, 11, 13 All right, and yellow is gonna score So wait the AI is last for sure So So I have 13 and yellow has 0 2 5 6 7 8 9 10 So like that so blue is gonna end up winning and I'll show you why so we scored the first assessment, AI gets eliminated, so they're out. They finished in last in all of them anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, we're going to go to the next assessment. I get eliminated because I'm now in last by one tower. All right, so you see how it goes? And then on the last assessment, yellow gets eliminated. So what happens is blue is the winner and he did really well because he fin he just barely squeaked out the coinage but then he finished first in both the towers and the uh, influence here uh, i didn't realize how much he had in the middle he must have dumped a few at the beginning of the game that i forgot about so that's how you score the game so it's really interesting the way you score uh you'll see my thoughts in the next few seconds all right, thoughts time for Lords of Zid. So what do I think of this game? This game is pretty awesome. There are some pros and cons. Don't worry, we'll get to that. Uh, but first, I want to start with the biggest pro, which is the components, the graphical design, the art, everything in this game looks fantastic. Um, the dials are amazing. I just love the art. I know they just ported it from Seasons, but Seasons art is fantastic, so why not just reuse it? Uh, the board layout looks great. All the regions have different artwork and it looks just fantastic. I think the only thing I really have to complain about in the components are these uh, stupid guild <laughs> towers. Uh, they're functional. They're not the great. They're, well, actually, they're not that functional. They don't fit that well, but it is what it is. Uh, especially all this amazing stuff. Oh, I forgot to even mention the, uh, the little mini dudes. They give you like, <laughs> what is it, like 50 to 100 of these things and... It's amazing all this for less than like $50 retail fantastic you can get a much better deal I swear if this was on Kickstarter <laughs> imagine how much it would have raised just with this artwork and the mechanics and all that it would have gone bonkers all right so that's the good stuff uh, let's talk about me mechanisms uh, I love programming programming is great but I hate long drawn out programming where you can get shafted like ro ro robo rally kind of sucks and it's way too long even if you play a short map you're still playing a long game uh this game uh it's fast no matter what the player count you play it's fast it's more strategic it's great i love it um another con i'll get to it is sure it works at three and i really love the way the dummy player works but because you're only three on this big map. There's not that many conflicts or you're not screwing each other over that much. So this game shines at five. I mean, if you're five players, play this, it's great. Even at four, it's sort of way too open and you don't have that many conflicts and have those screw ups where somebody defeats a threat before you get there. So you're wasting turns and, and so on and so on. And you have those funny moments. It doesn't really happen. Uh, so at five, it's great. Three is probably the next best player count, then I would say four as the next high uh, best player count. Now, I'm gonna say that's another con. It could be extremely frustrating. This game, you can feel like you're eliminated by like round four, five, six, and then you're just spinning your wheels. <sighs> well, what can you do? It is a programming game. It'll happen in Robo Rally if your guy falls in a pit right away where everyone else is like two tiles ahead. 
<laughs> what do you want to do <laughs> right uh, although the pro for that is that the game is short no matter how many players you're playing because you're doing all your actions at the exact same time so everyone's going to do their ones or twos their threes together so even if you're playing three four or five the game's going to last around the same amount of time right so you're not drawing out the game that much so it's like about an hour game if everyone knows what they're doing even if you're playing three four or five players right so that's fantastic i love that and that's where i'll leave it it's a great game i think i said at the intro maybe not this is my favorite program uh programming game uh i still haven't played quirky circuits but probably that one's a co-op so i still think this is probably my favorite uh, i'm waiting for one of them to unseat it but for right now it's the best so what do I give it on 6? I'll give it a 5 out of 6. Still great. Still am going to stay in my collection until a new programming game comes along and uh, and takes it out. But the components are great. The programming is great. It's fantastic. Uh, click on the link below for the setup video. That's all I have to say. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>